So, Tom, we we had a conversation on on April 7th where you were you were bullish and you even admitted that day that it sounded in, I think the word you used was insane given where the economy seemed to be. And you suggested back then to buy those so-called epicenter stocks. That was the name that you gave them. The Dow is up 20 percent since April 7th. The S&P 500 is up 20 percent since that conversation that we had. The Nasdaq is up 24 um, percent. You were dead right. You deserve a lot of credit for making that call at a time where it wasn't favorable and certainly wasn't popular, perhaps, to make that call. How did you make it then? And now what, after we've come so far? Uh, yeah, hi, Scott. Um, yes, I, I think part of uh, our process has always been letting the market sort of tell us what, what it's communicating to us. And, and back then, uh, we had seen credit was really uh, on a, a huge amount of mend. And so if, if high yield and credit was going to be healthy, then stocks, needed to sort of converge or agree with what the credit markets were saying. So I, I think we were back then just thinking the stock market was telling us a vigorous recovery economically is likely underway. And it's also consistent with how markets typically uh, do after crashes, you know, that the rebounds tend to be symmetric. You know, so we, we expected a V-shaped stock market bounce. Uh, history would have said that you'd get to 2800 by mid-April if March 23 was the low. And, and then we should be making new highs sometime in July. So I, I agree, Scott. It, it, it's insane, but in a way, it's, it's almost clockwork in terms of or textbook with how it's matched historic history and prior crashes. The, the, the question I think most important for our viewers, Tom, um, who listen to you, they, they listen to what you say, they, they believe in your work, is what to do now. A lot of these epicenter stocks that you suggested people buy and I read them off at the beginning of our program, like American Airlines up almost 100 percent this week alone. The casino stocks are, are up tremendously since you said to buy them, near 70 percent. The cruise lines, in many cases, are up better than 100 percent. What are we supposed to do now? Um, I, I think the epicenter groups, which are about 25 percent of the S&P market cap, and they're the most cyclically sensitive, they could be more than 60 percent of the points that gains we could see in the next few months. So I, I would still be adding to the epicenter. And we put out a list for our clients this morning of, of 17 stocks that I would consider to be early stage in their rebound. You know, things like TJX, GM, Booking, Carnival, Win, uh, some of the energy names, you know, Chevron and Exxon, because we talked about this week how now that people may be driving more overall consumption of oil might be up. There might be this really shocking bull story on oil consumption. And so energy could be making that, you know, more than 20 years sort of turn uh, that works for five or 10 years. And, you know, and that, but it's also some of the industrials like Northrop Grumman, General Dynamics, Snap-on. So I think the epicenter is still, you're still able to put fresh money in there. And I think that's where the five trillion of money market dry powder actually will go into is the cyclically sensitive stock. 3,400, is that still your, your S&P target? For, for this yes, year, uh, by, by the end of the year? Yeah, so uh, our target is 3450 uh, I think if the recovery is vigorous, and it, I think today's jobs report was, you know, a very big upside surprise, then we could close uh, well above that level, too.